Hi there guys, uh, it's Tom Mills Drums here. So today we're going to be looking at Mysterons by Portishead. So the drummer is Clive Deemer, who's one of my personal favourites. Um, and one of this, this groove is one of my favourite grooves probably ever. Um, so let's, let's get right, right into it straight away. So the main groove is it's basically a one bar groove that repeats. So the beginning of it, we've got two, two bass drums straight away. We're playing eighth notes on the hi-hat. So we're straight into first two hits. One and. Okay, then we've got a first backbeat and we've got a ghost note straight after it, a sixteenth note after it. So it's a. So a sixteenth note after that first backbeat on two. And then we've got another two sixteenth notes on the kick. So we've got. Yeah. So that, that's beat one and two. One and two beat on that. Yeah. And then beat three is kind of the second accent back beat. And then we've got a double. Uh, 16th note bass drum after. So that's three, four. Three, yeah. So together we've got. So yeah, that's quite intricate itself, but the track is quite slow. It's about 82 BPM, so it's um it's quite a it's quite a slow a slow groove. But to finish it off is the tricky bit. So at the end, we've got this buzz roll basically that's lasting the whole of beat four. Now the easiest way to sort of explain this is um is a basically a buzz roll is when we pressing into the drum head. So it's not a double stroke, which is where we're bouncing to get two clean strokes. It's where we're almost pushing into the drum head. Not too hard though, but just kind of pushing down. To get multiple bounces. So this is called a buzz roll, or a multiple bounce roll, or a closed roll. Um, so yeah, the best way to describe this is, is kind of like it's seven hits, seven buzz rolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then it's straight into the one beat afterwards. So yeah, as I say, it's kind of like seven, seven put buzz rolls basically in a row. And you can, I mean, if, if your buzz rolls aren't quite up to scratch, you can practice it just doing it straight, um, just straight singles. But the key part to this is it starts with the left hand. So it's almost like the first hit is the back beat on four. Hit my nose there. <laughs> is the back beat on four, but it but because you're doing this buzz roll, he's making it last for like the whole the whole last beat. Which just gives it this really cool kind of almost programmy um, feel to it. His all of his drumming is so great, it's, it's got such an amazing touch. Um, he's he's quite into you know it's it's kind of got quite a tinge of jazz, um, but it's it sounds like a lot of his beats sound like they're programmed. It's really really great. Um, I'm going to put some links under the video for you to check out some other stuff of his. He he obviously plays with 
uh, Radiohead, if you didn't know that, um, at the moment, like the double drumming thing. Um, but yeah, he's, he's one of my personal favourite drummers, so it's really fun to, to play this track. So yeah, I mean, hopefully that's been interesting. I've got another video, which is the whole track, me playing it along. So please go and check that out. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and please remember to to like and subscribe to my my channel because um, I'm going to be doing loads of loads of videos, loads of songs. Um, so yeah, if you have any songs you want me to do, let me know. And um, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.